One app is called Lino It. It's a little bit like Warwisher if anybody used that before. And all it does pretty much is it sticks um, post-it notes onto a notice board. Tried it with a couple of Year 7 classes. And the reason why I've done this one, um, obviously we've only got one iPad at the moment. We haven't necessarily, some classes might have banks of iPads, but I wanted something that the kids could use rather than me using it. I'll stop moving it around. Bit down. Um, so the iPad goes around the class when they're, currently I've done it with kids when they're doing like a workshop or practical exercise. So they're either cutting or sanding or varnishing, whatever it is they're doing at that part of the task. And then this is going round on each table. And all I've done at the moment with this one is I just asked them to recall very simple steps of the process, what materials, what equipment, what tools they've used, things about safety. Um, it's not showing up very well on here. Um, the quality is significantly better. Um, they can put pictures on, so we discussed it, and you can maybe do quality control throughout practical lessons, things like that. Obviously, in any other subjects, you can just use it throughout them to maybe put questions throughout the lesson if they've got any issues with the questions. During the lesson, this soft app as well, also you can just put on the web. So my, my PC, my teacher's computer, I just have Lino it on there so that um, the kids can read it as they go. So when it gets posted up and passed round, they can just look at it. All you do to put a new one on is you just go to the top right, you can either put text or camera or put something from your phone. In the middle there, you can either you can flick to the sides to change and you can type into it. So the kids can effectively, you can change different colours, they find out very easily how to put icons on and such. And they can write whatever they want there. So you can be prescriptive on what you want them to fill in. It was, in fairness, I was quite surprised. It didn't distract them at all having an iPad. Loads of the kids are familiar with them. They weren't that bothered. They did it. They filled it in. They passed it on. They carried on what they were doing. Carried on with what they were doing practically. Didn't distract them in the slightest. You can do that separately, I think, through the lesson. But I linked it in with. Um, I went to um, Teach Me a couple of weeks ago, um, the Teach Me Tees, and they did something with Songify. So I had um, this on the board. Can everybody see that? Can they read <coughs> something from there? Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Right, I'll delete this one. So if you can see something on the board, then the kids had obviously come up with these themselves. They all came to the front of the class, they all sat around, and then there's another app, which I had this just on the PC computer, so my iPad was free, and then I went on to Songify, which looks like this, which you've also, you can have on your iPhones or iPod Touches or the iPads, and you literally press it, it starts recording, it does a terrible thing to your voice, it auto-tunes it. And this only had context for me when I actually physically did it at Teach Me with some other people. Otherwise, it just sounds like a naff recording. But the kids loved it. So what I'm going to ask you to do is if you can read something from there as I pass it round. When I've started it, you literally pass it round. You don't have to touch anything on the iPad. You say one of the things. So, for example, um, we had to wear safety goggles for the sanding machine. Doesn't matter if you say it twice, doesn't matter if somebody else has said it. <coughs> you pass it around about eight people, just pass it on initially, and then it auto tunes it and we'll put it through the um, speaker to do so. So, it doesn't matter as well if there's a pause, it doesn't matter if you stutter, it really doesn't matter at all. <coughs> we used a sanding disc to shape our work. <laughs> We had candle holders from mahogany. We had to wear safety goggles for the sanding machine. We made our candle holders from mahogany. We put glue on there. <laughs> <laughs> we used the sanding disc to shape our work. We had to wear aprons every lesson, so we do not damage our clothes and also for protection. We put glue on that. <laughs> we use safety goggles to stop the varnish falling out of us. We also use them on the sand machines. Right, then it processes it.
we have to wear aprons every lesson so we do not damage our clothes. <laughs> 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 it does give you um, a couple of different free versions of doing it, um, but it does only have, when I first heard it, I just thought it sounded that. but when the kids hear it themselves saying it, it, it does give them more, and it is a bit sort of a fun end to a lesson, so I just did it as an end to, to summarise what we've done. You don't have to link the two, they can be completely separate, the summing five could be done, I know people have previously done this homeworks and set different tasks, could be much longer, I think it does it for about a minute, um, and then obviously the line of it could be done separately as well. So.